Hi, welcome back to Pink or Tarot. My name is Z. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around with me. Um, I really do appreciate it. So these are the weekly reads here. So Capricorn, you guys are the last one. So this is for July the 12th through the 18th, 2021. Um, but you know, this could have happened at any time, honestly, or maybe it already happened. But um, keep in mind too, that's very, very general. So if you don't get a message today, then come back to a reader. You may get one. Um, also, I'm having a special here on personal readers. So it's $22 for an energy reading, finances and career, which is like a money read. And I asked about the energy surrounding like your finances or career, singles, love reading. If you're single, single, specific person, if you're dealing with someone or it could be like a little sneaky link situation. I don't know. But it's a really insightful reading if you're, you know, dealing with someone. So you can look in the description box below for my information on how to book a reading. You can copy and paste the links to my website or you can copy and paste my email address. If the link does not work for you, then you can email me. It's totally fine. Um, but no DMs as well about the readings. You can follow me on Instagram as well. That link is in the description box below. It's just pink or a tarot on Instagram, y'all. So let's see what comes up here for the energy surrounding Capricorn for July the 12th to the 18th. What messages, I mean, um, <laughs> what's the energy surrounding Capricorn for July the 12th to the 18th? Okay, so this determination card wants to pop out, okay. Some of you guys could definitely have like Leo in your chart too, but this determination card popped out I didn't take it at first because like I didn't really get a good shuffle. So I didn't take it, but it came out again. So yeah, it's, it was meant to be Capricorn here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's basically what is the determination card. It's like a mountain. So this talks about like goals and stuff. Like um, just imagine if you, if you were like um, climbing a mountain, like you're almost at the top, like you're tired, but your goal is to reach the top. And it's like, you're not going to stop either. Like keep going. We got a stop that came out here at the bottom. So let's see what comes up here for you guys. What messages do you have for Capricorn for July the 12th to the 18th? Yeah, if you believe, don't um, no need to worry too. It's here at the bottom. So this could definitely be in regards to like a goal that you guys could definitely have in mind. So it's like, if you believe, do you believe that you can um, achieve this goal? Do you believe that you can like reach the mountaintop? Um, Capricorn so for some of y'all you could definitely be thinking about stopping something too it's like maybe you lost faith in a situation here too um, Capricorn that's what it seems like but it's like apparently it's meant to be Capricorn especially with the determination card showing up it's like hey Capricorn like why'd you stop doing what you were doing what messages you have for Capricorn for July the 12th through the 18th yeah, be assertive here. Some of you guys are definitely need to get confident here in regards to like your goals. Also, too, it's like courage too. Also, too, for some of you guys, you could be definitely feeling like unmotivated too. That's what I feel too for someone. Give me one more here for Capricorn. Wow, in the near future, I usually do not take this card, y'all. It just depends on how it comes out. But guess what came up here? Success. This is the only reason why I'm taking it. This um in the near future here. So it's saying like, hey, Capricorn, you got these goals. It was something that you were like determined about, whatever it could be for you. It's saying like, hey, believe that if you keep going, like just being confident in whatever it is that you're doing, in the near future, it's going to be successful. Let go of any type of like fear or worry that you could have. So let's see. Clarify if you believe here for Capricorn. Clarify if you believe here. You had three of cups here. So it looks like some type of celebration here happening. 
So let's see what's going on here. If you guys, I do feel like too, maybe you guys could definitely be wanting to take action on something too. It's saying like if you take action on it, because the magician card showed up at the bottom when that three of cups showed up, it's going to be successful here. It's like you're going to have something to celebrate here. Clarify be assertive here for Capricorn. Yeah, so we got the strength card that showed up here. It's like you guys definitely need the strength here to fi um to finish something here. Now, also too, I do feel like too you guys are trying to um to overcome some type of setback. That's what it seems like. So this page of pentacles wanted to show up here. So it does look like some type of offer here with this page of pentacles. Now this could be you Capricorn here too with this page of pentacles, but it does look like if you start something that in the near future is going to, um, to be successful. Cause remember we've seen success, right? So with the page, it's like definitely like fresh new energy showing up here, like something new, the beginning stages of something. And you could definitely end up here like this queen of pentacles with this, um, showing up here at the bottom so this looks really good here with the queen of pentacles showing up tell me more about if you believe here oh so we got the two of cups that came out here so it does look like for some of you guys this could definitely be like in regards to love here or a connection for someone um, for some of you guys, you could definitely be wanting to like reunite with someone too. Like you could be wanting to like reconcile with someone. Tell me more about the assertive here. Yeah. Okay. So, um, not really sure if this is your energy Capricorn or the other person's. I mean, since it's coming out in your reading, y'all, it could have, the roles could be reversed. So I don't know who this could be for, but the nine of wands showed up here with the eight of swords. So it does like someone could definitely be like afraid here. It's like someone's not confident here in regards to moving forward here, possibly with a connection. So it's like you're needing to assert yourself if you are the one here who um, could be needing to like open up basically or like um, give an offer or receive one. Tell me more about in the near future for Capricorn. So we had a page of swords that showed up. This card came out at the top, but yeah, page of swords here. So we got two pages that came out here. So for some of you guys, now this could definitely be you Capricorn or someone in your energy here, especially with the two of cups showing up. But it does look like maybe um, someone's going to be communicating here too, like in the near future. That's what it seems like. Tell me more about if you believe. Why is if you believe here for Capricorn? Um. So we got the five of swords that showed up here. So it looks like there is mental conflict here surrounding a connection here that you could definitely be in. Someone could definitely be dealing with a Leo too or someone with like Leo in their chart here. For some people... Why is if you believe here for Capricorn? Oh yeah, the magician card showed up here. So it does look like someone needs to take action here too. With the magician card showing up here. And we got the tower that showed up here too. So it does look like maybe you and us you and someone here had um a tower moment. Someone could have actually gotten cut and cutting off too. Tell me more about the assertive here. Yeah, five of, five of wands. So there was definitely some type of conflict here um, between you and a person here too. With this five of wands showing up here. But it looks like someone got hurt here too in the situation. Why is in your future here for Capricorn? Why is in your future here for Capricorn?
Yeah, Queen of Pentacles showed up here. So it had showed up earlier here. So it does look like someone's going to be off. I'm making an offer here. I'm also seeing like work related stuff too. Someone's work could definitely be an issue here in this situation. Look, page of wands. So it does look like maybe someone's going to be getting some communication here too. So we got three pages that showed up here. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Someone could definitely be taking action here towards like something new. Clarify determination. Clarify determination here. Tell me about determination here for a Capricorn. Yeah, Seven of Cups here. So it's like for some of y'all, you could definitely be making a choice here towards like your goals instead of um like new love here for someone too because the ace of cups showed up so that could definitely be for someone here tell me more about determination also too if you um someone could definitely be wanting to it's almost like someone could definitely be like determined here to reconcile with a person or to like start something new here too but look we got the full card that came out so it, there is like a new beginning here but someone needs to push through their fears to start something new because it looks like a not an offer came in here or you could be the one like giving an offer capricorn that's what it looks like but look the full card came out so yeah Clarify the full here. Yeah, some of you guys definitely, um, you could have definitely went through an ending here. And I feel like, too, this is why someone's showing up here is like the Nine of Wands. Because um, there's definitely conflict here surrounding, like, someone, like, moving forward here. Or, like, being confident, basically, like, about their future. Or, like, starting something new. That's what it seemed like. Oh, and I've been seeing 1222, y'all. Give me one here for Capricorn. Yes, yeah, so we have Orphan that came out here. So if you are um, separated here from a person or it's like if you could be wanting to like reconcile with a person for someone, like someone could definitely feel left out in a cold here with this Orphan card or like abandoned. Give me another one here for Capricorn. Wow, truth be told here. You could definitely be wanting to speak your truth here, Capricorn. Especially with this be a certain card showing up here. Someone could definitely be wanting to like communicate and like assert themselves towards someone. Give me another one here for Capricorn. And I'm seeing fives for y'all too. Cause this this is card number 14 this truth be told and it, um this orphan card is card number five give me another one here for capricorn yeah so we have the face that came out here in time for a nap so let's see here so we got the face that came out i'm gonna read like a little bit of this meaning because i honestly don't remember the meaning yeah, 17. So fake karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. So basically, it's like the serenity prayer for the um, the oracles message. You know, the, um, you guys should definitely know the serenity pr um, prayer. But it says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by this evolution of the collective by nature and by your past experiences may be fated, preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. So it may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can't accept the mystery and, the, and work with those events in your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer here. 
So I do feel like, too, if you guys are wanting change here, too, it's almost like you're needing to make a choice to start something new. Because everybody has their own free will, y'all. Um, and for some of y'all, you could definitely be needing to, like, um, release any, like, fear, worry surrounding starting something new. And whatever this is could definitely be, like, out of your control. So it's like you're needing to go with the flow here, too, with the full card showing up. So, I'm going to leave the reading right here. I really hope that it resonates with you guys. Feel free to leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if it even resonated with you. And if you're new here, you can subscribe as well.